The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on India, with millions of cases and hundreds of thousands of deaths reported. The Indian government has faced intense criticism for its handling of the pandemic, with some arguing that it has not done enough to contain the spread of the virus and protect the health and well-being of its citizens. One area of criticism has been the government's initial response to the pandemic. When the first cases of COVID-19 were reported in India in late 2019, the government implemented a number of measures to try to contain the spread of the virus, such as the suspension of international flights, the closure of schools and universities, and the cancellation of large public events. However, some have argued that the government should have taken more decisive action at this stage, such as implementing a nationwide lockdown earlier and more strictly enforcing measures such as social distancing and mask wearing. In March 2020, the Indian government did impose a nationwide lockdown, which lasted for several months and was one of the most severe lockdowns implemented by any country in response to the pandemic. The lockdown had a significant impact on the economy, with many businesses shutting down and millions of people losing their jobs. There has been debate over the effectiveness of the lockdown in controlling the spread of the virus, with some arguing that it was necessary to prevent the healthcare system from being overwhelmed and others saying that it caused unnecessary economic hardship. In addition to the debate over the lockdown, the Indian government has faced criticism over a number of other issues related to its handling of the pandemic. One area of concern has been the alleged lack of transparency in reporting data on COVID-19 cases and deaths. Some have accused the government of underreporting the number of cases and deaths in order to downplay the severity of the pandemic. There have also been controversies surrounding the procurement of personal protective equipment and other supplies, with allegations of corruption and favoritism in the distribution of contracts. There have been disputes over the allocation of resources, particularly in terms of the distribution of vaccines, with some states and groups accusing the government of not providing them with enough doses. The Indian government has defended its handling of the pandemic, arguing that it has taken a number of steps to contain the spread of the virus and mitigate the economic impact. These steps have included the implementation of the lockdown, the distribution of financial assistance to those affected by the pandemic, and the procurement of vaccines. The government has also pointed to the challenges it has faced, including the sheer scale of the pandemic and the logistical difficulties in a country with a large and diverse population. Overall, the debate over the Indian government's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic has been intense and complex, with valid arguments on both sides. While it is clear that the pandemic has had a significant impact on India, it is also true that the government has taken steps to address the crisis and protect the health and well-being of its citizens. The experience of the pandemic will likely have long-term implications for the way that the government and the country as a whole approaches public health crises in the future. Summary the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on India, with millions of cases and hundreds of thousands of deaths reported. The Indian government has faced criticism for its handling of the pandemic, including its initial response, the implementation of a nationwide lockdown, and other issues such as transparency and the procurement of supplies. There has been debate over the effectiveness of the government's response, with some arguing that it was necessary to prevent the healthcare system from being overwhelmed and others saying that it caused unnecessary economic hardship. The government has defended its response, arguing that it has taken steps to contain the spread of the virus and mitigate the economic impact, and pointing to the challenges it has faced.